This is the 10 o'clock news on KTVU Fox 2. Now at 10, a victory in Arizona moves Democrats one step closer to maintaining control of the Senate. The tightly contested race marking another loss for a Trump-backed candidate. Uh, you know, Trump, uh, coming up to this election, was portraying himself as the superman, the, the man who could push the, the Republican agenda. It looks more like Trump was the kryptonite. The race call in Arizona came shortly after a new batch of results uh, swung in Democrats' favor. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Christina Rendell. Uh, Gregory, Democratic incumbent Senator Mark Kelly declared the winner in Arizona tonight. The former NASA astronaut faced the challenge from Republican venture capitalist Blake Masters. Masters was endorsed by former President Donald Trump and also falsely denied the results of the 2020 election. Taking a look at the latest numbers that propelled the Democrat to re-election in a full six-year term. After the latest numbers drop, Kelly leads Masters 52 to 46 percent. After the race was called, Senator Kelly released a statement thanking voters and saying, quote, from day one, this campaign has been about the many Arizonans, Democrats, independents, and Republicans who believe in working together to tackle the significant challenges we face. In the Senate, Democrats are now projected to hold 49 seats, putting them one seat away from control with the vice president, the tie-breaking vote. Republicans hold 49 as well and now need to flip seats in both Nevada and Georgia for control. The Georgia Senate race will go to a runoff next month. Well, the balance of power in Congress will dictate what the next two years of the Biden presidency will look like. KTVU's Amber Lee spoke to local political experts tonight about the potential impacts of this midterm cycle. Amber. Greg, it's been three days since the election, and Americans are still waiting for the results of many congressional races across the nation. Tonight, I spoke with political experts about what's at stake and the impact on Californians. Those are 